Hello everyone and welcome to a speed cast with me, Belle the Bee. <laughs> so uh, today, as you can see, we're building a little family. So this is going to be a single mum, Zoe, and she has two twin children. So the thing that I'm so excited about with this particular cast is that I this is my first family that I'm doing for my save file that I have just started and I've never done a save file before and everyone has been so wonderful about telling me uh, or giving me advice and telling me um, things that I could do and uh, yeah things that um, you know I could try or ways to actually manage my save file and yeah it's been really exciting actually learning about these things because it's very different from how i've always played the sims which might sound so strange to some people it's like what have you been doing in the sims all this time if you haven't had like a save file and it's like uh, yeah <laughs> i've just been doing like random challenges or just doing aspirations or you know just playing one family for their lifetime or yeah i just i haven't done like a generational stuff until i started recording uh videos on my channel that was the first time i started doing legacy with my flower pot legacy i've never done a legacy before and you know where you just you stick with a family and you play through them generationally and it's just so exciting and i'm excited to do this for a save file with you know different families and just building this whole world and this whole world's uh, plural because there's so many worlds in the sims and just making this exciting place for me to play i'm just and you know creating stories and background and um yeah i'm so excited about it so i do actually have a story already for these guys so zoe here used to be rich she uh lived with a rich family the tycoons i mean the name says it all doesn't it and yeah, her mum died when she was younger, so she did have a bit of hardship there, and she turned into a bit of a wild child from there, and she, this is a bit naughty, but she fell in love with one of her teachers, who was a handsome archaeologist, uh, historian, his, history teacher, and um, yeah, there was a night of passion after she graduated, after she graduated high school, they had a night of passion together, but uh, he had to go on an archaeological dig, um, he got a grant and so he he kind of just disappeared and not long after that she found out she was pregnant with twins. Ah, I know right? Scandalous. Uh, <laughs> and she had no way to, she had no way to contact him, she didn't know um, yeah where he was really, I mean somewhere in the jungle but yeah, he was off and he was he wasn't able to be reached and he's been there for years doing the dig and so with the help of her dad um they've been raising the kids together and unfortunately the dad uh, as he got a little bit older because they had zoe quite late in life um so he was more on the elderly side of things and he got a little bit confused and so when Bess sterling called ask him for money he gave the money to her and uh anyway long story short he got scammed out of all his all of his fortune by Beth sterling so you know that was pretty sad and a bit of a heartbreak for for them they had just enough money left over to buy a starter house in willow creek which is a really a really big step down for them and a big move but before just before they moved uh, the father died, uh, so it was pretty sad. So the family, uh, which is Zoe and her two children, um, are moving into their starter home in Willow Creek without their dad. And you know, it's yeah, it is pretty sad. It's been a bit of a sad circumstance, and the house is going to be a little bit run down. Um, and they're not going to have the nicest things. It's all going to sort of feel secondhand and like things have been used, but. They're gonna make the best of things and they will drag themselves out from this little sad place and I think have a wonderful life. So I am sort of planning an exciting storyline with Zoe and her former teacher, <laughs> the archaeological historian uh, kind of dude. And uh, yeah, so he's gonna come into the whole save file a little bit later um but yeah for now we're going to focus on zoe and her kids so as you can see zoe's coming together really nicely she's um because she sort of grew up wealthier i kind of wanted to give her a look where she 
you know, she kind of has like a bit of a style. She has style, I think, Zoe, and she's sort of pretty, really pretty, actually. She's gorgeous. <laughs> and so, she, you know, she's going to have like a bit of jewellery and some clothing left over from her former lifestyle as a rich person. Um, but she was a stay-at-home mum and, I mean, obviously, you know, the family had money, so she didn't have to worry about work, but now she's going to have to go and, yeah worry about work and money and taking care of the kids and the house and you know it's going to be like such a big change for her this lifestyle but I think she's going to do fine so yes yeah, so this is always coming together we're just working on her swimwear there and I decided to go with the uh, new splash kit <laughs> I've already forgotten full side splash <laughs> oh my I just oh names of things I just cannot keep them in my head Oh dear. Um, so yeah, so and just going into the hot weather side of things. So Zoe has uh, a black theme uh, in, in terms of her clothing. So she wears a lot of black, and so because she, she's kind of in mourning, like she's got a broken heart uh, from her former former love, and also she's mourning for her dad. So I decided to go with black for Zoe, um, but stuff that would kind of be maybe a little bit fancier but also kind of stuff that she would have taken with her because it's practical as a mother um but yeah she had to sell off like a lot of her fancy design and clothes and that sort of thing just to make bank really <laughs> so that she had money for the kids um but you know she obviously had to keep some clothing because you need some clothing so yeah, so that's what I sort of went for with her look is just, you know, she's still got like her nice makeup and you know, that might be slowly dwindling, but yeah, she still has a few nice things, but she has to be practical at the same time. So we've got Rose Tycoon here, who's the twin daughter and um, yeah, just going for a look for her. So Rose is more studious so she's a bit of a bookworm she is a good kid um, she's quieter and not so social as her brother will be and sort of color wise what did I go I think I went purple more purple with her did I I can't remember I think I did go purple maybe let's see what I do <laughs> My memory is so bad. So just, um, it's fun actually going through. Yeah, I did go purple. Um, going through and <laughs> seeing some of the kids' clothes because prior to growing together, I actually did not spend a lot of time playing kids in this game. So you know, some of the kids and some of the looks, some, some of the some of the kids' stuff and some of the looks and stuff, I'm just have not played with that much. So it's actually a lot of fun for me to spend some time on Cass and have some kids in the mix and just work out, you know, little outfits for them and see what kind of things they like. I did keep it pretty simple as far as nail polish and stuff goes for her, um, but I did want to give her like a few different looks. So like with the athletic. Um, you know, putting her hair up and going for like something a little bit brighter for her for the athletic wear, but still keeping on theme with the with the purple. And her brother like tends to tends towards bright colours as well, so you know, it kind of makes sense. Of, like a little bit of that would rub off on her as well. And going with the purple and the yellow there, um, or oh, the purple, sorry. And then I did a different haircut for the part. Uh, different haircut different hairstyle for party wear because I thought you know you'd probably dress your hair a little bit differently for the party for parties and stuff and I assume as a kid you would get invited to a few parties and, and stuff so that would make sense and then I just went with the poolside splash for the kids wear for this one wear sorry <laughs> for the for her um I mean, I'm just going, basically going to use poolside splash for, for all of the swimwear because it's nice to be able to have some different options for swimwear. And uh, going into the winter look, it was just a case of sorting out what kind of hat I wanted was the main thing. Um, and I really like this particular hat. I think it's super cute. And then uh, just something nice and cozy for winter. And this, this jersey with the backpack on it is so cute. I really like that. I think that's a really lovely look. So then we're going to work on her twin brother and his name is going to be Holland. I don't know why. 
I can't remember why I called him Holland, but yeah, oh well, that's his name. So we got Rose and Holland and Zoe. Uh, I know I definitely called Zoe Zoe Tycoon because of Zoo Tycoon, because that's one of my very, very, very favorite games uh, ever, ever, ever. And Rose Tycoon was Roller Coaster Tycoon, so that's Rose because I was going with a gaming theme. Holland, however, oh yeah, I remember Hospital Tycoon. <laughs> <laughs> that was why, so that's why I went with Holland of <laughs> a hospital tycoon. <laughs> this is my naming process, everyone. If you're ever wondering why I come up with weird names, I'll like come up with a theme and just like, yeah, kind of like word association with it. <laughs> so, <laughs> this was a bit of a stretch, but anyhow. So, Holland is an outgoing kid, he's like uh, into popularity, he's he can be a bit mischievous. Um, you can sort of see that sparkle in his eye, I think. <laughs> Sometimes he has like this smirk on his face and it's kind of like, yeah, I can see you've got a bit of a mischievous streak, Holland. Um, but yeah, so he's, he's not, not afraid of colours and looking super stylish and just trying out new fashion things as well. Whereas his sister's probably a little bit more conservative as far as fashion goes. But as you can see there, like, you know, he's into the bright clothes with bright yellows and that sort of thing. That's his, that's his uh, signature colour. And mixing that up with whites um, and uh, other contrast colours. I think that works really nicely for him. And he's a cool kid. So I think we're just about getting to the end of this and just working out those hats and um, yeah, so this is the family and I'm going to work on the aspirations. So she wants to be rich again, gain back the family fortune and she's going to be a bit of a bookworm and he's more of a social butterfly and a goofball. So that's my family. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!